On this video, we're going to be doing something a little different. I thought I'd do something a little different on this video. Uh, it kind of made me laugh. I called up work the other day and they said, I need to be home for Thanksgiving. I'm going to be doing some cooking. And they're like, you know how to cook? I said, yeah. Uh, I told them what I was making. They're like, I don't see that. Well, I can do more than just drive truck. Not a whole lot, but hey. Uh, so today, we're making baklava. So the recipe I'm using is my mother's. Well, partly my mother's because... She hand wrote it in a recipe for me, and uh, despite the fact she is Armenian, she, she writes like an immigrant, which is odd because she's from Washington. So, but she wrote it all in cursive, and uh, her cursive is terrible. I can read cursive, I can't read that. So I got another recipe, I put the two together, and I've done it before, so uh, let's get going. I'll show you the prep, and... Uh, We'll get this thing started. Now, this is a very time-consuming process, so there'll probably be a lot of jumping, and I'll try to keep this video under 18 minutes. One of the things that uh, I learned the hard way the last time, and my aunt always talked about it, was having yourself a damp towel keeps the phyllo dough from drying out. So, you need to take a good, clean dish towel and... Uh, something from that pile of corningware back there. Get this damp, I'll put it in the fridge and get it all really nice and cold while we do the rest of our prep work. So basically once you get this thing uh, done, you just make sure it's all ringed out, ringed, rung out, and uh, I'll just put it in this corningware. We'll take it and we'll put it in the fridge here to keep it nice and cool. And then uh, we'll get the rest of our prep work done. So we start off with is we got a 9 by 13 pan. We got cloves, cinnamon, uh, lemon peel. Now they talk about wanting fresh. I'm not going to sit there and try to find an orange this time of year just to grate the peel. So we got that peel. And I've used it before and it works good. And we got walnuts. You need about a pound and a half of them. And we got honey. This was about the only honey I could find. Some of the oddball stuff has been really hard to find lately, especially honey. Everybody's been buying all the organic and all that. And this is a it's this is good enough for what we're doing, but truthfully I prefer a single source honey or more of a raw. But this quite literally was all I could find. <clears throat> we gotta get some coffee. Oh. All right, so what we have to do now is mix two-thirds of a cup of sugar in with uh, one and two-thirds pounds of nuts and uh, about half of this. This is a cal uh, grated lemon peel. So you got to open these up, and if you need it, I got my knife because everybody needs a knife. So if you just mix it in one of these, you can mix it in a bowl or whatever you want, but just mix it all up. What you really just want to do is just pretty much stir all this stuff up. Uh, you can use your hands if you want. I won't tell, but sugar will go to the bottom. Just be careful when you're dealing with a lot of sugar like this that if you get it on anything, that's how you get ants. So keep your sugar contained. So. We got this, so now that our prep work's done, almost done, we've got to melt the butter and then we'll get the dough out. I prefer to use a carry gold just because it's a good Irish butter. It's got, from what I understand, uh, the cows eat a lot of clove over there, so the milk's a little different. Need about a half pound of this melted. Uh, but that, that being aside, I just prefer the t taste of butter over regular. You do, don't ever use margarine or you need 100% pure butter for this. 
just melt it over low heat and uh, it'll take it'll take a couple of minutes but you want to use 100% pure butter because anything with vegetable oil in it, all it'll do is make the pastry greasy and soggy. You don't want greasy, soggy pastry. So, all right. Now it's time for us to start getting the dough ready. You're going to need one of these. Not one of these. I made the mistake of using one of these last year. Uh-uh. No, don't, don't do that. It won't spread the butter evenly enough. Use one of these. So while the butter's melting, just take your little brush here and what you want to do is give it a nice, just a nice coating of butter in the pan. Uh, it's a really nice coating. You can be generous. So that ought to be good right there. So now we got that. We'll take this pan over here. And uh, we'll start laying the dough out. What we got here is just a uh, one pound box of it. Uh, you only need one pound of it. You don't want to try to make it yourself because it's, it's a mess. Trying to make it yourself will take twice as long. I mean, one of these days maybe I'll make a recipe or show you how to make the dough itself. But it's, it's a very time consuming process. So let's uh, let this get laid out. At this dough is you have to be very careful it is paper thin so we're gonna have to take it because it'll probably break if it breaks don't fear it's just par for the course we're gonna have multiple layers we're gonna get the first layer up this is not the best dough oh it was still folded over uh, um, so Pretty much just lay the first layer in the pan like this. Try to get it. Oh, this is two sheets. See, it's it's paper thin. Well, let's lay it down here like that. And uh, we have to take the butter and then uh, you just brush this layer. So now you just basically put your cool towel over this. We've already put four layers down. We're going to butter this final layer here. And uh, you see that the, the dough will dry out really quick. So you just make sure you can keep it all moist with the butter. And uh, then. We go and uh, put a layer of uh, nuts in right here. It's just it's that nut and sugar mixture. So just put a nice layer of that in there. And then now, once we do that, we're going to put four more layers on. Now something that some people do is they'll put a little sprinkle of cinnamon between each layer. I'm just going to put a little bit in the center layer. Um, and I'll probably sprinkle a little bit on top. But cinnamon, it's up to your choice. Just like the nuts, people will use, they use pistachios, almonds, walnuts. It's whatever you like to use, but just make sure you get a good mix. The long is this, this dough dries out and... It always says if you got any more extra dough, you just roll it over into it. Uh, but truthfully, this right here is why you got to be quick and have that towel. This stuff just dries out and turns to dust in no time. So we'll have a, we'll just roll this over here and we'll cover it with a little more butter to make it a little more pliable. And then uh, I'll show you what we do. We're gonna cut the squares in it. It doesn't look pretty now, but it will. So. Let's uh, get this cleaned up, put the cloves in it, and get the stove going, and then uh, we'll go to it. Now that we've got this all done up, um, you cut through the first layer, and then put just put a little clove in the middle of each one. And uh, that should add a little extra flavor to it. 
And then while we're doing that, we'll get the stove heated up to uh, 300 and we'll get to that. So let's get the clothes put in. Let's get the stove heated up, which is already heating right now. And then uh, we'll got one more step after this. So now it's ready to go in the oven. The oven is preheated. We've got this. So now we can put this in the oven. We're going to put it in for an hour and uh, I got a timer here one hour on my Crosley stove they went from making cars to stoves to eh, whatever I don't know my grandma bought it at Western Auto but now we got to clean up here and then we're gonna make the uh, honey sauce to pour over the top so we got one third cup sugar we got one third cup water, we mix it in there, and we want to put it on the stove here and get it all, basically you want it to boil, um, we're going to mix it all, and then when that gets hot, we'll mix our honey in with it, which was uh, like one and one third cups, I believe, let me go look, but yeah, we'll do that. What you have to do is we basically want to mix the sugar and water, it says let it go for ten minutes. Um, we got it boiling, so now we'll just take the one and one third cup and we mix it in and let it cook. And what the sugar water does is basically it takes all the viscosity out of it and uh, makes it real liquidy, so it makes it easier to work with. So we'll add the rest of that in here in a minute and get this stirred up and then let it cool. But once it cools, it won't harden back up because it's basically sugar water now. And then when this comes out of the uh, oven, we'll pour it over the top of it. So let me get this going and we'll wait for this to come out of the oven. We're basically just mixing it all up together. Once you get it all mixed up, uh, you can turn the heat off and let it cool. Well, we haven't made quite as big of a mess as I thought we would. Why we wait whiskey it's gonna be delicious I used to collect shot glasses from everywhere I've been like this Rhode Island one I bought in New York just kidding I was stuck a weekend at the only 24-hour truck plaza in Rhode Island which consequently is now a TA but back then it was a dirt lot and a lot of disappointment a bit of horse soldier I uh Met one of the guys who founded this company, one of the Green Berets. Tremendous man. Get your shot. <laughs> uh, Thanksgiving and baklava. That'll be enough of that because if we go any further with that, uh, I'll never get breakfast eaten and uh, we won't get anything else done today either. Back to the sauce, once it starts cooling off, You'll see it, it it's it's pretty liquidy. And uh that's that's fine. That's what you want. So So now we got a few more minutes till it comes out of the oven, so uh oh, maybe another shot. Side note, I made moonshine cherries. Uh the Georgia Moon, no I didn't use this, I just used the jar. Uh Old Smokey's the best for this, but if you're just going to straight drink moonshine, Georgia Moon is the best I've found. But the jar makes a great package to make moonshine cherries, and these are really good. Have a little bit of liquor and some cherries, and suddenly she's wanting coffee. It's too early for coffee! So now the timer just went off, and I'll turn this off. We'll pull it out of the oven like my great-grandmother used to say because she couldn't speak English uh, and we'll put it out here so come over here take a look at this so now that we got this all here what we do is we go over here to this sauce and uh, this is where the sauce comes in now that we've all made it you just pour the sauce over the top like that and let it sink all the way through and 
we'll let it cool a little bit and put it in the fridge and there you go it's baklava so a little crispy and that we'll sit there cool it off put it in the fridge and should be ready for Thanksgiving dinner so as we finish up and we start cleaning up the mess I made in the kitchen <laughs> bubbles uh, that was just my mother's baklava recipe I enjoy making it it's really good um, I don't make it as pretty as she does but eh, whatever it's still good but we clean up the kitchen and all that but as you saw there wasn't a whole lot to it it's just very 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 time consuming um, it, like making the dough and stuff like that it's just very time consuming when it comes to just the prep work prep is everything with this and the dough is no exception follow the directions on the back of the dough because you're gonna get it'll come frozen and you have to thaw it out and basically have it at room temperature for two hours keep it cool and the main thing is to keep the dough from drying out we were and it's going to take a few times to figure this out because we were right on the cusp of very crunchy dough the whole time so try it a few times if you like it it comes out good so there's many different recipes out there and if you like it try it it's a fun thing to make and it tastes good and it's great for family get-togethers if you have families that actually get together if not make a pan for yourself and go into a sugar coma because it's delicious so I appreciate it thanks for watching this little unusual video it's got nothing to do with trucks cars or anything like that but it's something I enjoy doing I do love to cook and I get so little time to do it so I thought I'd share this with you so I appreciate it thanks for watching we'll see you next video oh I translated the uh, recipe from Armenian into English. Uh, my, my mother's recipe. It is a, uh, let's see, it translates on translate. Google Translate here. Never gonna give you up, never going to let you. You wonder why I don't visit.